What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. There's, there's a lot of them today. Oh man, there's so many new players added. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but depending on wh whether you're a newcomer to the game, uh, we are going to be covering everything. There is some incredible players here, including Foden in the player of the week, which we're going to get into now in a second, and Gallagher, who has super sub, Musiala, who's been absolutely bossing it for Bayern Munich over in the Bundesliga. So we are going to go through the player of the weeks here. These are available for 100 coins. You can get a free one. I'll do a video on that in a little bit, but it is just from completing the event. Uh, but yeah, we're going to check out these players of the week. Obviously, these players are the final, finalized version of the cards, so they don't have any players to go up, or player levels to go up, sorry, but they do have A form. So these guys are top, top, top form. And I like that they've actually changed this a little bit, that every single player in the player of the week is on A form, as it should be. Um, but we've got some nice players. And as I said, you don't need to train these guys up. This is what you see is what you get. So if you're looking for, you know, a beast of a player to go straight into your starting 11 or you're just starting the game out and you have a couple of free coins or whatever if you want to uh, just get a couple of these guys uh, you get three spins at it and obviously you can get the fourth spin uh, for free if you do the event but yeah I mean we will start at the bottom with Almiron who is Newcastle's winger he is down as a winger here as well um, which is fairly decent he does have standard form but he's got really nice dribbling and speed and acceleration probably gets overlooked for Maximin uh instead of maximum because maximum is probably one of the best wingers in the game but this guy has got fairly decent stats lads even though he's got a wavering form he does have cut behind the turn soul control chip shot control and then all the, the shooting shots or shooting player skills for the shots such as dipping shot rising shot and then he's got first time shot as well so this guy's a bit of an intriguing winger to have if you are playing him right wing he can play left wing as well which is very very nice especially if you want to kind of confuse your opponent sometimes people like to mark your um wingers so you can kind of mix it up a little bit if you need to which is is quite decent i would say but he does look like a fairly decent player and he's the lowest rated on this agent next up we've got a klaus who is a cross specialist this guy's got 90 stamina 87 speed 86 acceleration i don't think even though he's got unwavering form as a left midfielder i think defensively um you're going to want to play this guy if you are playing him right back i think he could be very 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 op because he's got really nice ball dribbling and skills on the ball as you see here with his player skills he's got speeding bullet he's got early crosser he's got long range shooting acrobatic finishing he's got such a variety of player skills like on one hand you've got like passing and crossing and low lofted pass and then on the other you have acrobatic clearance interception and slide and tackle and then you've got long range shooting and rising shot and acrobatic finishing so this guy's kind of like a jack of all trades i'd be interested interested to see if any of you guys do get him or if i do spin and get him i'd be inter interested to see if he is like absolutely beastly because he does look fairly decent but a lot of these players um he's just kind of like unique in the fact that he's a cross specialist but he's got really high acceleration and stamina and then he can also play right back so he is an interesting one to keep an eye out i would say as well uh, next up we've got Conor Gallagher who obviously plays for Chelsea on A form he does have standard form here his standard rating but he does have super subs so this is huge if you are looking for super subs right and I have a video done on super subs and the impact on them if you are like leading in a game or you're you know down 2-1 or it's one all and you're you have the ability of bringing on three super subs such as maybe Gallagher, Haaland and maybe I don't know um uh, who else is a super sub? I can't even think. But anyway, there is a lot of super subs out there. Uh, sorry, lads, it is early here for me. Uh, well, not early in the day, but I've been up very, very early. Um, and yeah, Gallagher is a fairly decent player. I would play him as an AMF because of his low passing and ball control stats. You can't train up these players. These are the final version of the players. So I do think that his speed and balance as a center midfielder is quite decent but if you are to put him up the ball up the up the pitch as an amf i think that there is a lot of better options out there unless you are a gallagher fan Partey, there's no Partey without Partey. he is a monster in the game <clears throat> excuse me i've seen a lot of people use him lately um especially this card i think is going to be very popular he's got really nice defensive stats he's got really nice defensive awareness for a dmf he is a box-to-box -box player I would presume that he will play like an anchorman though because if you look at his stats right he's got 83 physical contact 
85 aggression, 82 tackling and 79 defensive awareness. But he's got 80 speed and 74 acceleration. And then all important, he does have those player skills. Interception, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, one touch pass, true passing, long range shooting. Very, very decent, very nice mix and variety of player skills. I definitely think he's worth a punt if you do pack him. We have also got Musiala, Musiela, whatever way you pronounce him, lads. Uh, 91 ball control, 89 acceleration. This guy looks the real deal. Now, he is only a youngster. He's only 18 years of age. He does have standard form, but he is on A this week. He is a super sub as well. Now, if you get him and Gallagher, you're going to have two top-class super subs to bring in. And then you've also got a load of player skills that you're going to want to use with this guy. Double touch, which is always important. Dipping shot, first-time shot, one-touch pass. Look at his stats, man. As an AMF, this is incredible, right? 91 ball control, 89 dribbling, 87 tight, tight possession, 86 low pass. So he is going to play very similarly to Iniesta, I would say. That is probably who I would kind of re uh, recognize him as. You can't train him up, but his basic card, his standard card is, is very cheap, and you can train him up to a 92 overall. And I think you can actually get better dribbling type possession and low passing so if you are interested in that and you want to skip this one check out his standard card as well we've also got Balotore who my uh my my last impressions of Balotore in real life was against Chelsea last night in the Champions League and he he seemed to be having a nightmare um but yeah he's got standard form he doesn't have that many player skills so I would say that this guy is not going to be really that good left back he can only play left back as well early crosser yeah acceleration is good balance not great stamina is okay but those ball control and defensive AI everything like that is not going to be is not going to be good enough I think if you are coming up against really good squads really good squads I mean Ledesma so this guy is just a, your traditional goalkeeper I think he's probably worth a punt if you do pack him obviously because he does have uh, very high goalkeeper reflexes low punt and he is on a farm this week but yeah he is not going to be he's not going to be uh, like a meta goalkeeper I mean his his reflexes and his parrying is way too low that combination is what you actually need and he doesn't have enough player skills there either even though he has 90 play style proficiency all these player of the week players can play in any system really uh, which is quite decent as well Chris Smalling the ex-Manchester United player is back and ready for war online 81 jump and 87 uh, physical contact uh, he does have standard form blocker interception aerial superiority and heading and then defensive awareness is quite low at 82 but tackling and aggression is 84 and 80 speed and acceleration not bad but there is a lot of better center backs there so i would say yeah that he's not going to change the dial too much for you guys either romanoli uh, again this guy plays for lazio who he moved there in the summer as far as i know this is what we're talking about now right his speed isn't the best but he's got 86 defensive awareness and also he's got 86 physical contact and he has got man marking interceptor interception blocker and acrobatic clearance and heading and he's got uh, very very nice stats even though he is standard form he does have that a rating so again he is going to be somebody to look out for if you do pack him as well ben yetter before we get to Foden, who's the pick of the bunch here ben yetter he has got unwavering form he has got super sub he has got captaincy he's got gamesmanship first time shot chip shot control marseille turn scissors fade double touch he's got the lot lads a form 90 offensive awareness uh 89 finishing 86 balance 84 acceleration this guy looks like he could be a super super sub if you get my drift but uh yeah goal poacher by trade he can play ss or cf i would say if you get him he will be very similar to uh somebody like Raphael Lau in terms of his burst of pace uh which even though he doesn't or not Raphael Lau what am I talking about sorry lads I would say like Vardy was last year where you have that burst of pace but he's not like a speed demon but he's also an absolute clinical finisher up front and that offensive awareness anything over 88 offensive awareness your players are going to be making unbelievable runs so I definitely you know, don't discard Ben Yedder if you do get him in favor of like a top class center forward that has got higher speed or finishing or whatever. I think he's beast. Now, Foden, he's somebody I would definitely like to get, lads. He's got really nice player skills. He does have standard form as usual, but really nice player skills. 89 acceleration, 90 ball control, 90 dribbling, 90 tight possession. We're talking about an AMF that can play right wing, left wing, left mid, CMF. 
um, as well as SS as well. So he can play a lot of different positions. I would have liked to have, see Foden maybe just have, maybe just have a slightly better speed here. That's where I would probably want to see him, um, just to be able to have, you know, him as a little bit faster, even though speed is not all that it's cracked up to be. But I would definitely be playing this guy AMF, definitely 100% AMF, he looks like Neymar, he plays like Neymar and Iniesta, so it is going to be very, very interesting to see how he plays, I would love to pack him, um, we are going to try and unlock the free spin, and then we will we'll probably spin for these, but my luck has been atrocious lately, so let me know if you guys spin or skip, let me know what you guys think of these, some nice ball uh, open, or some nice packs there, some nice players to get, but yeah, that is it for me, check out my other reviews, check out my thoughts on V2.1 coming later today as well, until next time lads, I will talk to you in a bit, peace.